This is Japan Vlog Service. Hey YouTube, Michael Pickett here. So it is Saturday the 12th of March 2016. And, uh, well this is, I don't want to call it a response video, because I don't like that term. Because response seems to suggest you disagree that you have an issue with the person. But, and the issue would be wholly negative, and that you, yeah, that you disagree basically, and I don't. I prefer to call this continuing the conversation, because it's, it's prompted by watching Unrest's latest video, where he's been a bit in the doldrums, to use his word, a bit depressed. And also partly prompted by Give Me a Flake Man's response to Ryan Boundless, the idea of gaijin hunters and his problem with them. But it's not a disagreement with both, it's just prompted. Because I think there's a kind of a uniting thing about those videos. And that's the idea that if you are a foreigner living in Japan, it is good to talk to Bo from a British Telegram advert. My British friends will know that. So, yeah. Good. What... I'll, I'll talk a bit about Unrest's video to introduce it. He was a bit in, a bit of doldrums recently, a bit down. And so didn't make many videos. And was prompted to make a video of depression in Japan, or being depressed in Japan. The links will be to it below. And I can relate to a lot of this. I really do recommend, as he sort of does, that if you move to Japan, start a YouTube channel. You don't have to make videos every day, you don't have to, you know, you can use it for what you want. But uh, it is good to, to be able to have an outlet to sound out. And this is how this thing connects. It's good for your mental health because it is entirely possible that when you're not at work, given that you're probably teaching English, so not always, but mostly, given you're not, when you're not t teaching English, you may not have a conversation with anyone, because the majority of the people evidently speak Japanese. So, obviously speak Japanese, rather. And, uh, yeah, I can go months without talking to someone at all outside of work. I say that, it's not quite fair. Obviously, I'm lucky and I'm married to someone and I, you know, who's Japanese and is fluent in English. So, yeah, I, I get to talk every day if I wanted. But if you excluded those conversations, there are large portions of the conversation with my wife, there are large portions of a day when I don't speak. And that's why I make these sort of videos. It's quite easy. And it just easy when, when yeah, you have no outlet, you have no way of talking to someone to actually get a bit insular and a bit depressed. And this is what I don't get about Ryan Boundless and the Gaijin Hunters. Why I say, yeah, I totally agree with Victor. And that's that, uh, I would love it if the Japanese people started speaking to me in English. It's never happened to me. Don't know why. I wouldn't want to no, in fact, I'm not. I'm not uh, speculating. I have been spoken to in English by Japanese people, and, and yet yeah, my disability has not put them off. But yet, yeah, this doesn't happen. This I, this thing of people speaking to you in English three or four times a week. It just does not. If anything, I would welcome the conversation personally. So yeah, the main message of this is let's talk. Talking is good. And, uh, yeah. See ya. Bye.